I have seen a lot of Chargers mock drafts, but I have yet to see the perfect one. So I decided to make it the perfect Chargers mock draft. And in order to make it realistic, I'll be using the PFF mock draft simulator. I think PFF has the best big board and it's gonna keep me from drafting players that should not be on my board and they should have already been taken in the draft. Also keep in mind that this is prior to free agency and this is the week of the combine. So some of these guys, their draft stock could go up or down, but nevertheless, let's get into this PFF mock draft simulator while i open this up make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content it helps me out a lot and now let's start mock drafting baby all right i'm on the pff mock draft site but i want to tell you guys what my needs are right now i think my biggest need is a wide receiver and then my second biggest need is probably an edge player as well because we don't have anything really behind joey bosa or khalil mack i'm gonna go ahead and pick the charges right here as i tell you my needs uh, the biggest thing for me is value though. I want a tight end as well. I want linebacker depth because we don't know what's going to happen with Drew Tranquil. And then obviously right tackle. If Trey Pipkins does not come back to the team, we're going to need a right tackle badly. And that would change things for me. It looks like Michael Mayer was taken. Okay. Bijan Robinson is gone as well. So we don't have to have that conversation now about drafting a running back in the first round. Jordan Addison is gone. Jackson Smith and Jigba went actually before Jordan Addison. Okay, um, let me look. I know we definitely, uh, yeah, there's Dalton Kincaid on my board. He's obviously someone I like a lot. Zay Flowers is another guy I like a lot. That would add a totally different dimension to this offense with his speed. I think right now my top guy is probably Zay Flowers. Oh, Nolan Smith is here too. I like Will McDonald a lot. I think first round is too rich for him. Should I even go below these guys? Nathaniel Dell, Tank Dell, baby. I mean, I think I could really get him in the second round. So I don't want to overdraft anybody. I think the my main two guys right now, because I, like I do like Nolan Smith, but I just think we need an offensive playmaker more than we need that edge player right now. So in terms of value in the first round, I think my value is higher if I consider Dalton Kincaid and Zay Flowers only. So those are those are my two guys I'm considering. You guys know how much I love Dalton Kincaid, but I just think Zay Flowers adds so much more to this offense. He would help out Justin Herbert more than a guy like Dalton Kincaid would. And for that reason, I'm going to get my wide receiver. I'm going to cross that off my needs. And we have Zay Flowers as our first round draft pick. All right, now we're in the second round. I just want to go up here, see who's been taken. Uh, BJ Ojolari, I would have considered him. Siaki Iko was taken by the Packers. Oof, that would be a good fit for him. Will McDonald went higher than I would have taken him. And Tuli Tui Peloto, I would have considered him as well. Jalen Hyatt to the Chiefs. Bro, that would be ugh. and then dalton kincaid to the Bengals. that's a really good move for them dalton kincaid is definitely a guy that i would have taken no questions asked here in the second round but now we got to look at these guys nathaniel dell i already took a wide receiver so this i'm not even considering if i didn't take zay flowers in the first and i took dalton kincaid in the first i probably would be considering nathaniel dell here very very strongly i think that's a good one-two punch right there in the first and second round Andre Carter is obviously the top man on this board. I don't know about him though. I know he's like 6'7". He's got really good athleticism. The way he moves, I mean, he, he moves like he's a, a tight end out there on the field or even like a safety, a cornerback, but he's an edge player. It's just, he needs to get more muscle to his frame. This is not a three down edge player. And I typically like to stay away from those guys because it just reminds me too much of, of guys like Deion Jordan. Adetamawa, Adabare, I mean, he also is not as pro ready as I would like. And Felix and Adike Uzoma, he's got really, really great bend. This is a guy that I would really want on my team. He's got that athleticism similar to what Andre Carter has, but he's bigger and he can hold up against the run. Not very good against the run, but he's got that bend that you cannot teach in the NFL. And this is a guy that right now I think is probably on the top of my list. Let me just scroll down. I like Zach Charbonnet a lot, but I'm not going to draft him in the second round. I don't need a running back that badly. Uh, Eli Ricks, I like him too. Jack Campbell. I really like Jack Campbell, but I cannot take a linebacker here. The, the value is not as good. And now I'm looking at Darnell Washington. 
good thing I scrolled down this far. I like Dwayne McBride, but again, like I said, I'm not going to take a running back this early. Okay, so now it's between Darnell Washington and Felix and a DK Uzoma. I'm not going to be able to get as good of an edge player later on in this draft as I would a tight end. So for that reason, I'm taking Felix and a DK Uzoma, a really good bendy edge player that can play on all three downs. Going to learn a lot behind Khalil Mack. And he's going to learn to set that edge behind Joey Bosa. Welcome to the team, baby. Okay, now we're in the third round and Nathaniel Dell is still there. I'm regretting a little bit taking that wide receiver in the first round, but Zay Flowers is just so good that I believe in him. I'm I'm not, you know what? I'm not regretting that move. I'm not regretting it at all. It's just Nathaniel Dell has fallen so much that I'm so tempted to take him. Dwayne McBride, I'm tempted to take him as well. Really good running back. Tank Bigsby is also really good, but I, I wouldn't touch him before going for Dwayne McBride. Moro Ojomo, okay. I really want Moro Ojomo. This is a great run stuffing defensive lineman. He is like his run or his run stuffing skills is like teach tape. It is perfect. He really only has like one pass rush move though, but it works a lot. He just bull rushes. That's all he does. I mean, this is your pure defensive lineman, huge man. And that is the guy that I think I'm going to take right here. Like no questions asked. I'm not seeing anyone on this board that I would consider take, I mean, Zach Harrison, I would consider him. We already have that edge player though. Yeah, I think I'm definitely taking Moro Ojomo, the Nigerian defensive lineman. Welcome to the team, buddy. I'm liking this draft so far. Now we're in the fourth round. I'm starting to think about depth. These guys are not gonna start for me immediately. Xavier Hutchinson went two picks before me. I would have definitely considered him very, very strongly. Okay, who's on the board? Carl Brooks, Travius Hodges Tomlinson, that is LT's, I believe his nephew, right? He went to TCU. This is a cornerback, very small. I think he's only 5'9", 180 pounds, kind of like Jason Verrett was, also came out of TCU. This is your off-ball zone cornerback. Really twitchy, so fast, so fluid in his movements, and he is a Tomlinson. I mean, this guy right now is at the top of my board for sure, and he would be coming in playing cornerback. We need, you can always use good defensive backs. Other guy I'm considering, Dwayne McBride. Ah, uh, but I don't want to take a running back before I take a position of need, like a cornerback. I mean, it's not a huge position of need, and we do need a running back as well. But I just think the value is higher with Tomlinson. And obviously that namesake, I am a little bit biased here. But just Travius Hodges Tomlinson in the fourth round, you get that cornerback that is off ball like that. He's so fast, so twitchy, and is just going to beat wide receivers to the spot. He is so aggressive in the catching point of the ball. This is the guy that I definitely want on my team. If there's anyone that I want to bet on being successful in the fourth round on this board right here, it is Travius Hodges Tomlinson. He's my fourth round draft pick. Okay, fifth round. Let's see who went before me. I mean, none of these guys... Yeah, Tank Bigsby, I would have considered him, but we still have Dwayne McBride, who is my top running back right now on this board. And that is a guy that I'm really wanting to take. I think, let me just scroll down here, see if there's anyone else that I would consider taking. Antonio Maffi, the guard from UCLA. Okay, I'm interested in that. Ventrell Miller as well. Is there any other linebacker that I would want to take? Did I miss anybody up here? Dorian Williams from Tulane, okay. I, I would take Dorian Williams here. He's kind of like Kaiser White. He has some good coverage skills. He's not great at tackling. He leaves his feet a little too often. He plays the run pretty well, but he's so small. He's on, he, I think he's like, he's 220 pounds, I think. So again, it's very similar to Kaiser White when he was coming out of college in West Virginia. He was a defensive back. You moved him to linebacker. This would be a good weak side linebacker, especially if you're not re-signing Drew Tranquil. Even if you are, this is a guy that you would want to come in and develop behind someone like Kyle Van Noy. And then he could even actually take away some playing time from Kyle Van Noy. But do I want to take Dorian Williams over Dwayne McBride at running back? Dwayne McBride is so good at bouncing off tacklers, man. I think he was the third highest graded running back at doing that behind um, Bajan Robinson and Javante Williams. He had a really good forced miss tackle rate. But I really want a linebacker, and we're kind of in a purgatory right now with our linebackers because we don't know what's going on with Drew Tranquil. Kenneth Murray is like certainly in his last year, this upcoming year. So I think my hands are kind of tied right here, and I want to go for Dorian Williams. 
That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Dorian Williams in the fifth round. And then hopefully Dwayne McBride is still there in the sixth. If he is, I'm a freaking genius. But welcome to the team, Dorian Williams. Okay, so now I have my linebacker, my edge. I still have not drafted a tight end yet. This is a pretty good linebacker, Muhammad from Utah. I mean, he's really athletic, but he's just so clueless in zone coverage that I, I, I don't want to get him and I don't want to double dip on linebackers like that. Let me look at tight ends. I just waited too long to take a tight end, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to take any of these guys. And we already have Gerald Everett, so it's not like I'm missing out so much. Uh, I do want a running back as well, though. Braden Daniels, the tackle from Utah. I'll consider him because I do want some tackle depth. No, none of these guys. Tavion Thomas. Okay. Tavion Thomas, I like him a lot. He was really, really productive at Utah. I think, do I take him over like some tackle depth let me just go up make sure i know some of these tackles oh man not a lot to choose from dude not a lot what about center because i'm in that part of the draft where i would consider taking a center alex forsyth okay Ooh, but do i take him over a tackle i'll go for tj bass i think that would be a pretty good fit okay seventh round now i'm just kind of looking at flyers guys that i like tavion thomas is still here um oh man i don't know leonard taylor the tight end from cincinnati i mean i do need a tight end but oh my gosh travis die is still on the board here alex forsyth is still on the board as well do i just take the center i mean this is seventh round i don't want to think too much about this yeah i think my best move is either to take tavion thomas or take the center here and we do need some depth behind Corey Lindsley because he was injured a part of last year and we don't know how much longer he's going to play he's an old veteran Alex Forsyth come in you learn a bit behind uh Corey Lindsley for a year maybe two years and then hopefully he can start this is a guy from Oregon Justin Herbert is from Oregon that's my seventh round draft pick and now let's look at our entire draft okay so this is my draft Zay Flowers in the first round Felix and Udike Uzoma in the second round and then I got an F for taking Moro Ojomo in the third round. Are you kidding me? How was that an F pick? And then Travius Hodges Tomlinson, A plus. A plus for Dorian Williams. That's how you know that that is a good fifth round draft pick. TJ Bass in the sixth round, C minus. And then Alex Forsyth in the seventh is a C. I don't know exactly how they grade these at, at the PFF mock draft simulator, but overall draft grade is an A minus. I will take that. And I will take this draft in its entirety. Obviously, I really wanted a tight end. I wanted either Michael Mayers or Dalton Kincaid. The draft just didn't fall to me that way in this specific mock draft. But I am really, really happy with this mock draft. We got some interior offensive line depth as well as some tackle depth right here with these two guys from Oregon. And then Dorian Williams, he's going to come in, probably play right away at linebacker if there is an injury there. But he's definitely going to rotate in and get some playing time in his first year. Travis Hodges Tomlinson, probably same kind of thing. He's going to rotate in in that nickel position, maybe even play some safety. Moro Ojoma, he's going to play immediately. Same with these two guys right here. And I'm looking at Zay Flowers making an immediate impact on this team. I love this draft. A minus from PFF. I'm giving it an A plus. So that's my draft, man. Let me know if I drafted any guys that you don't want to see on this team or if I just drafted perfectly and you would want every single one of these guys on the Chargers. I definitely like a lot of these guys. I just wish that I could have taken a tight end. I don't know exactly what's going to happen in free agency as well. So some of these positions that I drafted, I may not have drafted that and I maybe would have taken a tight end at that spot instead. But let me know what you guys think of my mock draft. I hope that you liked it. And I hope that you liked these players. If you didn't, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. And I will see you guys next time.